Our next guest, Ikra Dada, joining us all the way from Oakland, California. Uh, Ikra currently a technical product manager at Workday, where she works on the media cloud team. She's also on board of the Muslim Women in Tech as director of growth and founded Muslim Referrals, which is a tool to empower Muslims by providing them with a referral network within the tech industry. Welcome, yes. Ikra. Assalamu alaikum. All the way from California. What time is it there? It is early morning. <laughs> early morning. You can see the you sun said that it's like five o'clock in the morning or something. <laughs> and what's the weather like up there? Because we've just been doing climate change. What's the weather like up there? It's good. It's actually uh, a nice, cool, like 75, 80. So it's, it's been good. You know, I don't know what 7580 means. 7580 Fahrenheit, I think. Oh, right. Sorry yeah, about sorry, that. We're, no. we're Can you convert that? Let's quickly convert that. One second. No, I'm kidding. Um, and and what, about, what about the smoke and the fires? Are things have dried out a little bit? Things have gotten much better. Uh, Alhamdulillah. It used to be like it, the smoke was kind of in the sky. Sure. Um, and then it was like dropping ash from it. Oh, so that wow. was very dangerous for the air quality. Yeah. But it's gotten much better, Alhamdulillah. And I think it's, I think it's well past us Alhamdulillah. now. Alhamdulillah. So, Alhamdulillah. You, so you're a techie. Yeah. <laughs> and how, how did you get into that? Is that something you've always been wanting to do? Or is it something that came along part of university? Yeah, I think it's always been something that I enjoy doing. I love problem solving. Um, I have always loved technology, always been the one that's, you know, IT for the family and, and such. Um, at first, I was studying medicine like every, you know, they see does. <laughs> yeah. But then uh, I decided to, you know, follow, try something different, try something Brilliant. that I enjoy. And so I've been enjoying my journey so far, alhamdulillah. And I guess your passion naturally took you into Muslim women in tech, and you're the director of growth uh, in that organization. And tell us about when you realized you wanted to step into to this. Yeah, that's actually a really good question. Um, we actually had launched Muslim Women in Tech last year. So um, a couple of my friends had been like trying to start a group for Muslim women. Uh, the tech industry is kind of male uh, dominated. Mm. And because of that, we felt like, you know, um, not only were we, you know, a minority uh, by being women, but then also a minority by being Muslim. And we noticed that a lot of the Muslim brothers in tech, they were, they had like groups and hangouts and things like that. But when, you know, we're in Silicon Valley, we move from our homes. Um, and so we don't really have a good sense of community. So we're trying to create that sense of community for young women in the Bay Area at first. And now it's become sort of like this uh, network uh, globally. So Alhamdulillah. And, and, and is that because not enough Muslim women are into tech or or it's just that same old male dominated kind of you know issue that's you know prevalent in many different uh, sectors unfortunately yeah i think it is um mm -hmm. part of that and then it's also i think the reason why a lot of uh women probably tend to lean away from technology is probably because of that male dominated uh like you know perception but we'd like to you know uh, break down those barriers and make women feel like they can study computer science and it's not, um, you know, a boy's uh, mm -hmm. like study. Yeah. 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 So tell us a little bit about Muslim referrals. So this is something else which has spawned from the Muslim women in tech. So Muslim referrals, tell us a little bit about that and what it actually does. Yeah. So actually what we found was, you know, with this whole pandemic and even before the pandemic, a lot of undergrad students would come to our page and be requesting, mm -hmm. um, asking, you know, does anyone work at Slack? Does anybody work at Facebook? Does anybody work at these uh, smaller companies mm -hmm. as well they were interested in? Um, and we would, you know, look into our networks and try to help those people kind of on a one uh, one by one basis. But it started after this whole pandemic and, you know, the huge amount of layoffs that have been happening uh, across the tech industry and a lot of industries, to be honest, um, we saw a lot more and more of those posts. And we were not able to actually um, look into our networks uh, and, and find those people. So we thought, you know, maybe we can expand this out further. Um, maybe we can get more, you know, uh, men involved. Maybe Muslim men would like to refer us. And, uh, mm, you know, I'm married, mm. so my husband works in tech as well. So he, he has lots and lots of friends who are always willing to give referrals. But, you know, putting them in touch one by one became something that's just not scalable. Yes. Um, and we actually then decided that we would like to open it up for, you know, any person who is working in the tech industry to request a referral um, and for any person who is working in the tech industry to also give a referral. On, on a point that you mentioned earlier on about parents and, you know, becoming a doctor and all the rest of it, is, is that still a challenge that there are, you know, young sisters out there who want to get into tech, 
but parental pressure or perception or, you know, expectations are preventing them from getting into it, even though they might be very good at it? I think it's, uh, it's also like, you, you know, I think a lot of, there's a lot of issues, I think, with deciding your at the age of 18 to make a decision about am I going to be a pre-med or am mm -hmm. I going to, you know, be a technologist or a scientist? I think, you know, it's just too soon to know what you can, what you have the possibility to even do. And a lot of people, that's why they go to college, they graduate, and then they're like, you know, they spend a year just taking a gap year, figuring it out and trying to resolve it, you know, trying to understand who am I now? I think, mm. it, I think for, for me, it did take me a little while to realize what I wanted to do. And I think that it's just sort of a, it's just a hard decision to make at the beginning of your life. Sure. That's sure. really good advice, actually. Um, so Muslim Referrals uh, it operates globally at the moment, or is it just in California, or how far is it reached at the moment? Yeah, so right now we've launched it, um, and we're just kind of requesting, we're, we're allowing anybody to submit a request or uh, submit uh, referrals. So we are kind of open globally. Uh, that being said, obviously our networks are heavily in the Silicon Valley and within America. So that's kind of the the higher amount of requests and referrals that we're getting right now. So, uh, we're hoping to expand it as well. And hopefully through this uh, this interview, we're able to, you know, get more people involved with the project. Um, and, you know, we're hopeful for the future for it to become a global thing. So when, when you're talking about uh, requests or referrals, what are we talking about here? What, what's the, you know, what's the content of this? Yeah, so if you go to www.muslimreferrals.tech, you'll, you'll be able to see um, basically a page where you're allowed to request a referral or give a referral. And um, what that allows you to do is kind of either, you know, explain what your career goals are and why you're looking for a job and sort of what your preferences are in terms of roles and, mm -hmm. and types of roles. Um, and give us a little bit more information about you. And then uh, if you're on the other side and you would just like to give a referral, uh, you can sign up to be a part of our, our program and, and you'll basically just receive access to cur our current uh, database of all the people who have requested referrals. We're hoping to make this a little bit more dynamic um, and allow for, you know, maybe a digest of, of people to like us of a small amount of people that work at your company uh, or that want to work at your company. Um, to kind of uh, to send it out to you in, in a more automated way. Right, listen, just a couple of concluding questions. One, without a doubt, would be if anybody's out there watching, wants to get into tech, they've got the, they've got the skills, they're, you know, they're, they're under a bit of parental pressure to become a doctor and all the rest of it, and just generally what advice would you give to anybody who really wants to get into this area of work? I would say use your network as much as possible and reach out to me, uh, reach out to anyone that you know. I think the, the one... Uh, regret that I have is not deciding anything sooner. And I think that if you're even remotely interested in something, you should just go after it and see if it's for you. SubhanAllah. Don't be regretful. Everything happens for a reason. This is your journey, Ikra. Um, so speaking of you and getting in contact with you, those watching us, how can they find uh, your organization? What are the website uh, you know, links? Can yeah. you share those with us? Absolutely. They can go to Muslim Women in Tech's Facebook page. Um, they can also go to MuslimWomenInTech.com and muslimreferrals.tech. So okay, yeah. uh, if you want to give a referral or if you want to request a referral, I would strongly recommend you go to muslimreferrals.tech. And if you want to just learn more about us or be part of our community of Muslim women, uh, feel free to join our Facebook page or LinkedIn pages. Fantastic. Brilliant. Well, listen, from ourselves and everybody's watching, all the best. And we hope that people are watching. I'm taking note of all the, the, the details and get in touch with inshallah. Inshallah. And uh, keep safe and the very best for the future, inshallah. That's right, that's right. Jazakallah. Thank you so much, brother. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum.